In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to supplement a kid's water bottle tumbler. So if you want to see how to do it, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about supplementation and sewing. So if either of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification button to be notified every time I upload. I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you enjoy this video, make sure to share it. And before we continue, oh, and check out my website at soulpresscreate.com. I'll have it linked down below. And before we start with this video, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Oh, apparently my hair, that, that's not it. My eyebrows. Before you go making fun of me this whole video, just know I got my eyebrows microbladed. So they're going to look a little crazy for a week or two weeks, whatever it is. So don't judge me. You're going to see my eyebrows like this maybe for two or three videos. So just, just, we're just going to embrace it. Okay. Now that we've addressed that, let's jump into this video. So for this project, you're going to need some heat tape some sublimation paper. You can use some butcher paper, but I'm gonna be using some of these heat shrink wraps um, just because I have them and I might as well use them. Um, and in order to use that, I'm going to need a heat gun to shrink that and I'll show you how I do that. And of course, you're gonna need your tumbler. Look how cute these are. We're going to start off by measuring our tumbler so that we can know how big to make our design. So I'm going to start off. This is a straight tumbler, so I don't have to worry about the top being bigger than the bottom. I'm just going to put my measuring tape around it. And so it's about eight points. Seven. So you can make your design a little bit bigger than that. So I'll make my design maybe about 8.8 .8 just to give myself a little bit of room. From height, we're just measuring the white part and that is about five and a half inches. So I'll make my design maybe 5.6 just to give myself a little bit of room just in case. Once we have those measurements, we can make our design based on those measurements. I always suggest making it a little bit bigger, not too much because this is a tumbler and it's going to overlap and you don't want any ghosting or any bleeding through. So now that you have measured it, you can make your design based on the measurements that you got. Again, make it just a little bit bigger, not too much. And then you can print your design on your sublimation printer, on your sublimation paper with sublimation ink. I say that because some people don't realize that you need special ink and special paper for this. I have my design right here. We're gonna start off by taking off the lid and we're gonna put this to the side for now. You wanna take some rubbing alcohol and you want to just wipe off your tumbler so that we can get off any lint or fingerprint oils that might be on it. But you wanna make sure that whatever you use to wipe it is a lint-free cloth. We're gonna let that dry. So once we have done that, you wanna take your design and you wanna trim just one side, not both sides, just one side. And because my design is going to overlap a little bit, I don't want to risk any bleeding through. So I'm just going to take some heat tape and I'm going to just tape some along this edge right here, making sure that it's not hanging over my paper. Just like that. And then I'm going to flip it over, make sure there's no lint on it. I'm going to take my tumbler holding it by the metal part so that I'm not getting any fingerprints on it. I'm going to bring up the side that I trimmed. And I want to make sure that I'm lining it up correctly. And I'm going to hold that very tight and I'm going to roll it just very tightly. And you want to just look at it and make sure that it's lined up all the way across. And once you have that nice and tight, you want to take some heat tape and just tape across that seam. And then I'm also going to tape across the seam this way. 
And I'm gonna trim down my paper a bit. Okay, and I'm also gonna take my paper and I'm going to fold it inward like this at the bottom and the top and I'm going to tape it. Be careful that you don't push your tumbler up or down. So just tape it all the way around. I didn't do it on top because I don't want it to create all these little puckers all the way around. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So you wanna preheat your heat press at whatever temperature your tumbler instructs you to. Mine said 334 degrees for 50 seconds. So that's what I preheated mine to. So then you wanna take some butcher paper and wrap it around your tumbler and then take some heat tape and tape that on. I'm just wrapping it really tight. And then I'm going to put it inside of the tumbler press and I'm gonna press for 50 seconds. I'm going to open it. I'm gonna rotate it with that seam down. And then I'm gonna press for another 50 seconds. We're going to open it and take it out of our tumbler press and then we're gonna set it aside until it is completely cooled down. Once it is cooled down, we're gonna take our tumbler and we're gonna take some heat gloves and we're gonna remove the butcher paper and paper. So it's easier to take out that seam tape first. Ooh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Look how beautiful and vibrant that is. Oh my gosh, look at that. So cute. We can put back our lid. Oh, that's so cute. So, so, so cute. I love that. I've actually been pretty impressed with this HTV Runt sublimation paper. Like, look how faded that is. Like, it definitely has really good ink release. So, I'm really impressed with that. Not many sublimation papers I've used have this much transfer rate. So this turned out super cute. The colors are super vibrant. I am loving this HTV Runt sublimation paper. I'm gonna have that link down below. Also, they're having a sale. I forgot to mention this in my last video. They're having a sale. It's the Fans Carnival sale. So I'm gonna have the website linked down below. They have a lot of good sales on the hat press that I did a video on a few weeks ago, as well as the sublimation HTV and sublimation paper that I used in the Mother's Day gift idea video. So go check them out if you're in the market for a heat press or a mug press or a hat press. They have automatic tumbler heat presses. Go check it out. Go check out their paper. I'm actually pretty impressed with their paper. Like I think it has really good ink release. But anyways, this turned out super cute. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Make sure to hit the bell notification button. And make if you enjoyed it, make sure to share it with other people. Stay tuned for my video, my next video on Friday. I am currently doing Tuesdays will be sublimation videos and Fridays will be sewing videos. So I'm trying to keep it like that. If there is a video that you want to see from me, please comment down below and let me know what you want to see. And I will try to make that video happen. Thank you for embracing my dark eyebrows. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.